it should. It is 2200 Ferdinand Porsche Drive in beautiful downtown Herndon, Virginia. It's the North American headquarters of Volkswagen Porsche uh, here in the United States and Audi, I'm sorry. Uh, sitting on a set with me here is the winner of the last two races, uh, co-driver of this particular car. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna hand it over to Ryan Ellis. Thank you guys. Uh, it's good to be here at Volkswagen of America for sure. It's great to have the car here. I would like to begin with a brief summary of our 2011 season so far. Well, it's been a great year so far, and uh, to begin, I'd really like to thank APR Motorsport for giving me the chance to race for a great organization and have the opportunities that I've been presenting for this season. Building on my Jetta TDI Cup experience with Volkswagen of America, APR was a natural fit, and they have really made me feel at home with their team and their GTI program. I also want to thank my family and friends who helped get me to this point. And also my sponsors and partners like Lacey, Volkswagen Driver Gear, Switch Sisters, iRacing, and Allspeed Trail. Going into this year, I knew I would have to prove to my prove to the racing world that I have the ability to run the best drivers in the world. With limited funds, I knew that I would be able to do anything short of a championship would be a good As daunting of a task as it seems for a rookie, I was proving to myself that Grand Am would be a good 171 team to fight for the best of the championship. Without the support of my co-driver, Ian Boss, all of my teammates, Stephen Hooks, Bill Boss, and Jeff Verstappen, that wouldn't be possible. As for the races, Daytona and Homestead were two totally different experiences for our 171 Volkswagen Environment Group team. At Daytona, we dominated the whole weekend by breaking the track record and qualifying and having a pretty consistent lead over the field for most of the race, or having a pretty exciting battle for the finish. Being at Daytona was an experience on its own, and as a rookie, it's a lot of taking. Homestead, Miami, on the other hand, it was a battle from the start. I'd never been to Homestead before, and Grandam took away some boost from my APR month to work March 6th GTI, which definitely is. We qualified 6th and fell back at the start with this amazing pit strategy. From Jeff and Shem, we climbed our way back at the top of the battle. From there, the rest is history. Ian Fruitway is known as one of the best drivers in Grandam, and he took advantage of the other drivers' mistakes, and even used the draft to his to lead the last two or three feet in the race. It was definitely an exciting finish for what has already been an exciting year to say the least. I'm really excited to see what the rest of the year has for APR Motorsport and Mesa. I can't wait to try to watch it. Well, Ryan, I'll tell you, I don't want to put any pressure on you here, especially sitting in front of this building. You know, you've got two in a row. You started out in the TDI Cup Series at VIR last year, winning the first two races of that particular season. Now, the guys at APR tell me you're going to their home track, which is Barbara. I mean, any extra pressure on you? I mean, more pressure than you had in the previous two races? Uh, definitely. I mean, I went down to the uh, APR headquarters in Oak Lake, Alabama, a couple months ago, I guess. And it was great to get to know the team and all the people who work the best jobs and anything really in APR headquarters. And knowing that they're all going to be at the track and seeing how hard they worked on all the cars and the equipment to get the car out the track. I mean, they built the car in, I think, 72 hours to put it out there for testing. And it's a lot of pressure knowing how hard they work with the team. Now, let's talk about the chemistry between you and Ian. Uh, you know, he's a veteran driver, he's run up and down the entire Sports Car World Series. How much of an influence has he been on you and how much are you getting from him? It's great to have drivers like, uh, I mean, Josh Hurley's a uh, teammate of ours and he's helped us a lot with data. Ian's great, he's been a 24 hour and it's great, it's a great pairing for us because we're both about four foot five, I think, and uh, we can both hop in the car pretty quickly. He's got to help me out with some stuff like uh, popping champagne, but I mean, he's definitely helping me with uh, data, getting to know the cars, and he's, he's been developing these cars since the beginning of the Motorsport, and I really couldn't ask for anything better. Next race after Barber, you come home to Virginia International Racing, it's kind of your hometown track, I suppose. You've got a lot of familiarity with that. Do you see yourself at an advantage there? Do you think the grand, two part, the second part of the question is, do you see the Grand Dam Series you know, slicing and dicing your setup or what have you for us on our way down the track. I'm not sure what Grand Am's going to throw at us. They haven't really changed any technical rules since I saw them yet. But I'm sure they're going to change a lot of things in the cars. And seeing how we won two in a row, actually three in a row if you include another last year, they'll probably take some boost away at some point or do something to our cars. And, uh, I mean, at Barber, we don't think we're going to have the car to 
uh, run up front is because of all the regulations that Grand Am's putting on us. But I know VIR always comes down to good strategy, and it's going to be a battle for the end for sure. Well, you really didn't have that much of an advantage this time. Uh, once you got to the lead, you were really by 22 thousandths of a second. It's essentially the quick lead to go to the front bumper. Yeah. And the car did not lead a lap up until that particular point. I mean, in your mind, how justified would Grand Am be about penalizing APR? Well, I mean, I feel like uh, play seat and uh, iRacing actually helped me get used to uh, Homestead a lot. I mean, I did a lot of practice in my play seat at iRacing at Homestead Miami Speedway with my teammates and uh, got used to the track, and it really helped a lot to do that. Um, I mean, you can't really say too much as to Grand Am. They kind of have to go off of what the results are, and obviously we're kind of biased on that. We don't think we should have anything to do.